Hello again YouTubers. It's been a long time since I posted my introductory uh, video, but uh, I guess better late than never. I just wanted to update uh, what I had to say on that video a little bit. I, uh, I mentioned in my initial video that uh, I was a rookie in terms of backpacking and, uh, and things like that, but what I didn't mention was, that's true, I'm a rookie in the world of, you know, backpacking and things like that, but I'm also a a uh, 22 year uh, veteran of uh, Army National Guard infantry so I'm no stranger to, to humping a rucksack and and things like that no stranger to the to the outdoors by any stretch uh, more or less what I was getting at was that I'm a I'm a rookie to just the vast amounts of different kinds of, of gear that are out there and and uh, I guess just normal hiking and backpacking. I really, if I was hiking or backpacking, it was usually with a lot of camo on my face and uh, carrying a, either an M16 or an M4 carbine rifle. So, that said, I just thought I'd, I should put that out there. I'll let you look, know a little bit more about myself. I, uh, I just retired here this past May in 2009 from, uh, from the National Guard. Uh, my main purpose is, and I've been wanting to do this for a while, is I'm impressed as hell with this little stove here. Uh, my brother-in-law, Mike, he uh, he got this for my wife and I after our first trip to Colorado that I talked about in my previous video, and because uh, he knew that I was, you know, on the gear hunt and trying to get, you know, ready for the next uh, trip. So he bought this for us, and I've got to use it quite a few times now. And uh, I'm I'm just super impressed with this uh, this little stove. It, uh, uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Um, first off, I dig it already just because the pouch is cool. I don't know if I'm just a sucker for cool little pouches or what, but it all fits, it's all nice and contained right here in this pouch if I can get it out. And it's called the uh, Primus Etta Express. And when it says it's the uh, the express, it's I guess it implies, or it even you know is advertised as a solo stove, you know, made for one person. But my wife and I have used it numerous times, you know, and we uh, we love it. It's worked great for our purposes. We've gone for a you know an overnight backpacking trip. I think it was in Arapaho National Forest in, in Colorado there, outside of Winter Park, uh, and it's worked great for us. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set it up real quick, show you what all's inside. First off, this little pouch, not quite sure what it's for, but it's there. It's a little zipper pouch, and it's just pretty dang cool. I, I, I have to put something in it just because I'm sick like that. But uh, starting off, it's got a lid, okay? And I know most of you guys are no stranger to this kind of thing, but this I thought was very cool. It's nonstick. It's a little bitty skillet. It's excellent. It's got a handle. It slides right up to the, to the top and this whole time you can just pinch this thing and rotate it up and you know fry whatever up you want you can put an egg in there whatever we actually when we were up by uh, when we did our hike up to uh, Jasper Lake there I think this was in Roosevelt National Forest it was about a 14 mile hike that was uh, an ass whooper but it was a good time and uh, we actually cooked up a, a brownie that we got it was I think Mountain House may have made it I don't know but it didn't suck it tasted pretty good I think I, I burned it a little had the flame up too high anyway I'm shutting up I'm moving on uh, this little pouch right here contains the burner itself very cool I'm not gonna do anything with it yet I'm just gonna show you what all is in here the actual fuel little windbreak genius and this little guy right here which is I, I'm assuming so you can handle the hot pot or hot skillet or, or whatever uh, that's what I'm assuming is for or it could just be meant to you know sit down in here so it protects the uh, non-stick coating which by the way both of these non-stick you'll look at the bottom of this thing it's got some uh, uh, I don't know what the hell you call it uh, Anyway, it's supposed to disperse heat and get maximum efficiency out of your flame and ultimately reduce boiling times. And uh, 
get this thing all set up. Screw it on top. Get it nice and snug, don't get it too tight. And then, just slide these things out like that. Again, I know most of y'all are going, yeah, ooh, ah, oh, that's really cool. Hey, I thought it was damn cool. And then, on top of that, how they engineered this, very, very smart. You actually just slide these, it's got two little holes here, another hole here, and it just slides on to, uh, to this, to the burner. And then uh, you set your, you fill it up, and this thing will hold about a, a, a liter of water. And then you crank that baby up on high, put your lid on because it actually it boils in way less time if you uh, if you put the lid on. And I've I've found and I've I've heard also, but uh, this thing is great. My uh, my brother-in-law who bought this thing for me, he has the Primus, and he turned out to be actually envious of of our stove that he got for us because uh, it seemed like it had a faster boil time which I think is between three and four minutes it just it, it gets after it. Um, uh, also I'm gonna tell on myself here the uh, I used this thing I don't know how many times before I finally realized it has a little igniter switch down here I've been using a lighter to light the damn thing and I was envious of my brother-in-law's Primus you know automatic igniter deal but yeah, works like a charm. I've used it many times since, and it hadn't worn out on me, so uh, it's great. And again, going back to uh, the fact that it's, you know, billed as a, a solo stove. Shoot, man, this dinner right here, these little mountain house meals, they only take, I think, like uh, two cups of water or something like that. And uh, it holds, holds way more than two cups of water. And uh, we can, you know, boil it up, dump it in the bag, let it sit for nine minutes. And I tell you what, also, kudos to the cats that invented the mountain house meal. I've eaten MREs my whole life, and I swear to God, these things are way better. The Army's off. But this thing was good. This is the beef stroganoff. Excellent. Excellent. Spaghetti. Excellent. Lasagna. Damn good. All these things are really, really tasty. Now, I'm sure you get sick of pasta after a while, and you have to do some, some other things. But for what we've done so far, uh, excellent. But we don't plan on, you know, hiking the entire Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail or anything like that. So I don't think we're going to go on a trail that's going to allow us to get sick of all these meals. They're excellent. We can bring some tuna and crap like that, too, if we need to. Uh, anyway, uh, if you have any comments, uh, I encourage them. Be nice. I'm still, you know, a rookie uh, at this right here, too, you know, on YouTube. So uh, I'm not going to edit anything. I'm not going to put any fancy effects in here. If I screw up on this thing, then I screw up and you guys get to see it. Uh, no special effects or anything like that. It's just, you know, me talking and, and hopefully you listening. Uh, I appreciate y'all and uh, please give me a comment. Subscribe if you want, if you feel I'm worthy. Uh, but anyway, y'all have a great day. Out.